Hello everybody and welcome back to NPFLP GW2 episode 7. I have just left the labyrinthine cliffs where the, uh, what is it, Festival of the Four Winds is going on. Still have 15 days to do that if you want to, but I'm not going to be doing that this episode. We are back to the normal leveling routine, except we are no longer going to be going through the Asura areas. Those are way down here, and I feel like we've had enough fun down there. So, we're going to be exploring my next favorite area, the Char starting area. Why? Because I can. Look at these guys. Giant badass cat people. Especially giant when you're playing in Asura. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Raptor Man. Can you not get in my shot, please? Anyways, uh, this is a very low level area right now, but we're going to be quickly powering through and getting back to the high level areas by just doing a couple of hearts here. You just uh, come out here, squish some spider egg sacks, murder some spiders. That guy's playing a revenant, look at that. Oh my god. Oh, hello, Mr. Worm. Oh. Wow. The farmer has a sidearm. Oh, never mind, that's not a sidearm, that's a rifle. <laughs> oh, hey, look, a spider's attacking me. Go away. Uh, I'm almost done. What do I do with the cows? Squish spiders, clean up webs, flatten worm mounds, and fill troughs. Oh, okay. So I don't actually interact with the cows in this one. There are a lot of them where you will interact with cows, though, and they're a lot of fun. Cows are a big part of Char society because Chars really like meat. Oh, okay. These spiders are apparently mad at me. Alright. Bye-bye, spiders. I'm on to fight some Flame Legion. Flame Legion are, like, bad char. I'm not gonna get into all the details right now. Actually, I might. So this is a Flame Legion. Flame Legion are the political slash uh, military enemies of most of the other legions of Char. Uh, Char organize themselves into legions. I wonder if... No, there's, there's no, like, direct evidence of that on the map. But, uh, uh, let's see if I can do it from memory. So there's the Iron Legion. That guy just helped me out with that one. Uh, the Ash Legion... And the Blood Legion. I believe those are the three main ones. And those are the three that you can choose when you make a Char character as part of your Char storyline. Um, and then the only other one that I remember is the Flame Legion. Which is the bad people. Um, basically, the other three legions, as far as I understand, all agreed to... Um, to a treaty with the humans and the Flame Legion already being very culturally different than the other legions but as well not agreeing with the treaty just kind of splintered off from the main legions and went and did their own thing and now we're all fighting oh there's a bunch of Flame Legion down there let's see if I can alright you two burn and I'm gonna come down here and see if... No, okay, this isn't in the old heart area. This is in its own heart area around this thing. But I can still get some heart uh, thing done. Yeah, look at this guy. Just offering in map chat to help out new people. I love it. Alright, so that's a little bit of heart progress on that one over there, but we're going to go back to this one over here real quick because we were almost done with it. Come on. Yeah, 
Yes. All right. Got a hit on on him. Let's spawn another one. Get a hit on on him. And the heart's done. All right. Now on to the scrapyard, where the bulk of what we do is slaughtering rats. <clears throat> I'm not kidding. This is truly a level 3 quest. We clean up piles of gears, set rat traps, and murder rats. Ooh, an ooze. That's a new one. Would you die, please? There we go. Alright. Die, rat. Ooh, I think I can get all three of these guys. Bam! Yay, bouncing bullets. Alright, that was nice and quick. Oh, I pissed off a news. Let's get out of here before he... Ooh, just barely got mounted before he put me in combat. Alright. There's another heart down here. Level progress is pretty slow. I think you get a little bit less XP for doing lower level hearts, but... We're just gonna kinda work our way through. This lake is full of ooze and slime and pollution because of the char, like the industrial war machine makers of the world. Here, fight my turret. That's right, turret, get him. Oh, yeah, this thing is another dodge trainer, um, but you can see the chest is already opened. Whoops, I didn't have any dodge that time. The chest is already opened because I did the dodge trainer in the Asura area. Uh, down here somewhere, I think. Maybe down there. Anyways, I did that one, and you can only get the chest from one per character. So there's no pop-up for this one, as you can see. Um... And there's no, like, annoying... Yeah, there's no annoying pop-up, but there's also no reward for doing it. it. It only teaches you once. Which I think is a good thing. I hate that little pop-up that comes up every time it's, like, a new thing. But I understand that some people would rely on it to find their way around the map and learn what's going on. So, I don't really know what to feel about it. Personally, I don't like it, though. Oh, that's a thing from the Festival of the Four Winds, I believe. Let's ignore the heart for now and investigate this. Pick it up. Oh, yeah, Zephyrite, Lost and Found boxes. So, that dropped from the sky. Somehow didn't hit those rocks that are right above it. I guess maybe it like parachuted in at an angle or something. But yeah, they dropped it from one of their air balloons and it just fell onto the world. And now I can pick it up without even doing the festival. That's another thing that I really love about the way ArenaNet and Guild Wars does events. It's it's all over the world like the they're just so cool in the way that they influence every part of the world with the event. A 
Hello, Mr. Ranger. Look at you. You've got your little scale drake, your salamander drake pet. I really wish I had a pet, but I don't like Ranger very much. I am loving Engineer, though. This has been a lot of fun. Burn! Oh, wow. I didn't think he would actually burn because, you know, he's a fire elemental. But I guess only the higher level fire elementals don't burn. Alright, let's shoot that guy. Oh, there's an event going on, so I can just run over here and kill all these tar elementals. Alright, piss off you two, you two can fight my turret. I'm gonna go over here. Oh wait, no, this is outside the heart area. Alright, back inside the heart area, and I don't get any XP, or don't get any progress for the event. So I'm not gonna do that. Just gonna go back to extinguishing flame legion fire sources of whatever kind these are. Bakula Castrum. Hey look, a chest. Martyr's Woods discovered. Are you sure? Are you sure I discovered the woods? I don't think I've discovered the woods. Hello, friend. What are you doing here? Man, she looks awesome. Look at that glittering silver armor. Not sure what sword that is. That looks cool too, though. Alright, no more enemies in this area, apparently. Uh, let's go back out here. Nope, that's not an enemy. Yeah, there's a lot of people around here doing this heart, which sometimes is a good thing, sometimes is a bad thing. When things die that quickly, it's generally a bad thing. Well, okay, I'm bored. I'm just gonna move on. Oh wait, here we go. More Flame Legion power sources. Burn! Still doesn't make any sense, but whatever. Oh, a turret. Yeah, let's set up our own turret. Get you. No, I don't think I need to get you. I need, think I need to just kill this guy. And... Never mind. Alright, there we go. Alright, mount up before he gets my thing. There's an event going on on the other side of this wall. Oh, come on. Let me up. That's gonna be right around the corner here. Hopefully I get there in time. No. 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 Ah, oh well. Ghostbuster! I've killed a hundred ghosts. Alright, I'm gonna skip this. Get back to the somewhat higher level areas so we can level up faster. I think... Through this crack in the wall here is how I get to the next map, which is a higher level map. Who are you? 
No, he's a necromancer. All right. By the way, I don't think I noticed, or I don't think I said anything, but I did get my audio settings fixed. Turns out it wasn't have uh, wasn't anything to do with the new microphone. It was actually activating a different setting for when I was streaming with AJ the other day that messed up my audio both on the stream and on the recording that I did the next day. So I got that fixed. And hopefully we won't have any more problems. Okay, what do I do here? Train young Skelk. Order trained Skelk to assist around the mill and take out hostile Skelk. So Skelk are these things. They're normally enemies, but apparently these Char are training them to be... something? I don't know. <laughs> Some kind of workforce? Does... does he fetch? I'm confused. Okay, there's some enemy skulk over here. I'm just gonna murder them real quick. Ooh, a new spear gun. Um, power precision. Yeah, I'll go with power precision. Oh, yeah, turn on auto attack again. Um, equipment. Yeah, here we go. That is much better than my current spear gun. Skelk Slayer. All right. Am I out of combat yet? Oh, no, there's another skulk. Okay. Oh my god, there's all kinds of skulk. Burn! Okay. <laughs> Apparently they just... Oh, I didn't even get... Oh, I was outside the range of the heart. Feels bad. <sighs> Anyways... Okay, you. I pick up a stick, I throw the stick, and you fetch? He fetches, oh my god. <laughs> so the Jar are training the Skilk to play fetch. <laughs> okay. Whatever you say, game. Okay, I'm almost done this heart, and last time I killed these guys, I did not get any XP, but I'm going to show you guys a little trick. If I attack them from range and drag them back to this area where it's still active, then I believe I will get XP for it this time. Yeah, there we go. Got it. So that's just a little trick. Oh, okay, he went invisible. I don't like that. Uh, there we go. So yeah, that finished up the heart for me, and now there's an event to do. Train... Oh, we have to defend the train skulk. No, they all have names.
Nope, they're going that way. Alright, let's finish this up real quick. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. They don't take condition damage, and I don't have a whole lot of power damage, so here we go. Alright, let's get on our... Oh, nope, they're coming back. Alright. Yeah, so these Skelk are collecting kindling for the... I think that's a lumber mill? And we have to defend them against their brothers who are trying to murder them. <laughs> Because, you know, that makes sense. We're almost done. That guy's an elementalist. There we go. I only got silver? Come on, I killed so many skilk. Oh, I did not mean to piss off that warthog. Uh, there's a vista up here. Oh, there it is. Now, how do I get there? Yeah, here we go. That worked. Don't evade my attacks. Burn. Oh, there's another one. I don't want to piss off that one. Alright, here we go. And... Vista. Alright. Hope my raptor doesn't die from this. Okay. Oh, workers. Alright, back in another heart area. I'm just gonna fast forward through this one. Uh, actually, no, I will explain it first, because this one's a little bit interesting. But first, I'm gonna res these workers for just a little bit of progress. Basically, for this heart, uh, the easiest way to do it, I believe, you run through the fort up here and disarm all the bombs, that gets you like halfway done. And then for the rest of it, you need to get on a sniper rifle. And I'll show you what to do with that. All right, so that is all of the Suspicious piles disarmed, or uh, the suspicious piles searched, and all of the bombs disarmed. I'm wondering how to get to. The Here we go. Alright. So now I have some fun with a sniper rifle. I only have a one skill. It is a very powerful shot, and it has a projectile delay, so I have to wait for my target to stop moving. But then they die in like two hits. Are you gonna stop anytime soon? Is there anybody else? No, that didn't make it. Apparently I'm really bad at this. Oh, uh, he moved. Mm. I'm just gonna shoot a warthog in frustration. <laughs> Yay! I can help this guy out. He holds them still and I shoot them. <laughs> Works for me. 
Oh, there's an event. Perfect. Oh, there's trebuchet. Oh my god. Oh, look at all the targets I have. I've never seen this event happen. I've done this heart like five times. Oh, that's the heart done. I wonder if I can hit the trebuchet. Doesn't look like it. I think I hit that marksman. Okay, now can I hit the trebuchet? Nope, no numbers appeared. Oh well. Uh, yeah, I think I'll complete this event. Why not? Can't poison it, can't burn it, just have to power it down. Ooh, this thing is flashing. Why is that thing flashing? I'm not level 31. Oh, he has a shield. Alright, friend. Let's go. Burn! Fight my turret. Oh, jeez. I'm chilled. I don't like chill. Alright, a couple of them are blinded. They're fighting my turret. Good stuff. Good stuff. Alright. You get to burn, too. Alright. Let's go. Kill the trebuchet. Alright, event finished. A lot of people showed up for that one. That happened really fast. <clears throat> All right. Ooh, merchants. I like merchants. Um, I should be able to buy some better armor. Can't use a sword. That's annoying. Uh, don't need that. Don't need that. That is... Actually, technically that's better because it has a rune. The rune gives me plus three to all stats, which is exactly what the Ragamuffin Toshus have, is just plus three to all stats. So I might want to... And this one also has plus six power. Um, want to try to salvage that, and hopefully I get the rune? I did not. Well, I can just buy a rune, no big deal. Um, just salvage all, I don't care about, oh, what's that? Eh, it's a little bit worse than what I have. Salvage all, alright. Uh, oh, I'm level 23, so I can equip these things. Just go ahead and do that, and then get rid of the old ones. Uh, salvage that. Apparently I can't salvage these, so I'll just destroy them. They only cost me like 50 karma each anyways, so whatever. Uh, okay, my material storage is full on that and that. I'll have to, you know what? I think I'll do that right now. I'm going to go on a different character. Don't care about bag space on this character, because all I do with her is craft anyways. Uh, and I'll just withdraw all of the raw materials. 
that are full, like those. And now, when I get more raw materials on my other character, I can deposit them again. Alright, back to this. Deposit. Those two are junk. I don't care about them. Uh, that one apparently I can't salvage, so hopefully I can sell it. If not, I'll just have to destroy it. And I can't sell it. Could sell those. I don't know if I should hang on to those though. So let's just destroy that. Uh, I need to buy another salvage kit. I only have one more use on that one. I think I can do that from this merchant here. Buy another basic salvage kit. And... Oh, right. Armorsmith. Duh. I wanted to buy some other armor. This guy has level 20 armor. Which is... Not quite as good as what I already have. So, never mind. What about weapons? Alright, what weapons can I use? I, I've been loving the pistols, but I want to try something new. Uh, weapon unusable, weapon unusable, weapon unusable. Here, nope, that's pistol. Okay, don't want pistol. Uh, shield I already played with. Spear gun is only underwater. Um, okay, apparently pistol and rifle are the only weapons, and shield, are the only land weapons that an engineer can use. So that's interesting. I guess if I want to weapon swap, I'm going to have to train kits. Because they get their own unique weapons with the flamethrower, grenade, elixir gun, uh, tool kit, and bomb kit. So, I guess let's play with a couple of those. I wasn't really liking the flamethrower all that much. The grenade kit was interesting. Um, I wonder what the tool kit does. Let's... Yeah, let's lose elixir B. I haven't really been using that much anyways. <laughs> Boomerang wrench. Woo! Alright. Uh, yeah, let's play with that toolkit. Alright. Uh, smack my foe with a wrench. Repairs turrets. That's interesting. So, auto-attacking repairs turrets. I wonder how big the AoE on that is. It doesn't tell me, it just says heals for 5%. Maybe, I don't know if I have to smack the turret, or if it just like heals turrets all around me. Uh, scatter nails that bleed and cripple foes. That doesn't have an AoE ring, which is interesting. It does look like it's a big AoE, though. Uh, confuse them by smacking them with a pry bar. Block attacks. <laughs> I use a giant gear as a shield. And then pull my foe towards me. Wonder. That doesn't seem to do any damage, so I should be able to use it on this chicken without killing it. Immune. <laughs> I, I cannot magnetize the chicken. Okay. Alright, so that is toolkit, and then I can stow it. Oh, okay, so I can just... That is my weapon swap now. And it has a very short cooldown. I wonder if, if it has a longer cooldown in combat. Anyways, elixir gun. Vent a healing mist. That's not bad. I see engineers do that a lot, so I guess a lot of them use the elixir gun. Ooh, bleeding, 
cripple, bouncing glob. Okay. Uh, auto attack is a tranquilizer dart that does bleeding. It's interesting. Fire a bouncing glob that cripples foes and grants swiftness. Interesting. That didn't hit me. So it didn't give me swiftness. That's weird. Uh, spray a cone of elixir fumes doing poison. Oh wow, that lasts a long time. Uh, poison and curing conditions on allies. That's neat. Leap backwards spraying an acidic elixir on the ground that does damage. And it's a blast finisher. And then launch an elixir orb healing allies on impact and creating an area of continual healing. Hmm. I kind of like that. Yeah, I think we'll keep the elixir gun. Play with that a little bit. Uh, how do I get out? I wonder if I can make this jump. Yay, I can. Alright. There's nice way in this direction. Ah, what it, ah, cannons. Oh no. Okay. You guys can burn. You guys can get blinded. Let's drink my elixir H. Kill that mage, because he does a lot of damage. Archer too. Alright. Fighter, you can burn. Alright, now the ghost cannons. Uh, do that maybe? I don't know. Hey, that does some damage. Oh, okay, he's mad. Didn't quite mean to do that. Oh well. That noise didn't go over well. Oh well. Alright, let's leave my turret to take care of that thing. Oh no! Oh my! Oh, what's happening? Oh, jeez. Let's heal. Oh boy. Okay, okay, there's a fighter there. I don't like this. Back to this healing area and leap out, and that did not heal me for as much as I thought it would. Okay, stay inside the healing area, that gives me more healing. Alright. Nope. Get out of the red circle. I just want to kill this ghost cannon, please. This thing is dying so slowly. Is my rifle- nope, my rifle turret's trying to kill this one. <laughs> Rifle turret, please kill that one. Thank you. Oh no, all the ghosts are respawning. Oh, this is bad. Heal. Leap. Bye bye. I'm out. That place is scary. Uh, there's a hero point in this direction. <laughs> of course there is. Uh, I think it's down this well, if I remember correctly. 
down the well. All right. Oh, yep, here it is. Just have to fight off a couple of oozes. Let's just waypoint out of here. There's another hero point up there, and a point of interest and a vista. Um, I think that is. Yeah, I think that's the place. Um, that's where I'm planning on ending the episode. For now, though, let's go over here. I don't want to pick a fight with those guys because there's no heart here for me to finish up. We want to go this way. There's a lot of cows here. Alright. Rancher in training poison swell. Just fight you? Yep, I just... Oh, oh, I don't fight you. I fight your cow, apparently. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> you can fight my turret. Get poisoned. Alright, apparently these people are gonna fight it for me. Fine by me. More poison. <laughs> All right, let's go find this heart. Oh, oh, rift barrier. Yes, I love these things. And I just killed an armadillo. Oh well. Yes, rift barrier. This is actually a part of I think Living World season four, but it happens out in the open world, so anybody can participate. Oh, okay. Apparently I have to get closer before I activate that skill. Uh, you have to catch these things by standing on these circles. It launches a projectile and then you catch it. And you run in and smash it right next to the barrier. And it damages the barrier. And then once we open up the barrier, then we can go through the portal and fight a creature. Hey, there we go. Alright. Let's throw up a mentor tag over here so people jump in. We don't have to go in right away. We have a couple of minutes to fight the thing, so hopefully I can attract some people. Maybe not, though. I guess we'll see. Yeah, let's go. Hopefully somebody comes. Oh, whoops, that already deactivated itself. All right, we got three people here. So this is in the mists, which is basically like the afterlife in this universe. And it spawned a champion branded rift stalker, the branded are minions of Kralkatoric, one of the Elder Dragons. And this is level 80 content, so I have been leveled up. Uh, and my health is significantly increased, but I'm still technically only level 23. So it's going to be somewhat difficult unless more people come.
but you know what? Let's just do it. The mechanics this thing uses aren't terribly difficult. I just need to dodge that and dodge these. Get some burning on him, stay out of the yellow circles. Let's go ahead and spawn my turret. Yeah, it's basically just stay out of the yellow circles and you're fine. I think at one point he does the thing um, where he gets a shield and you have to catch the crystals and destroy the shield just like we did to the rift in the first place. Let's see if we can get his break bar down by using our CC skills here. Use that. Alright, his break bar is almost dead. Come on, guys. Yeah, we got him. Po oh, oh, that was the wrong button. I, I meant to poison. Poison. Alright. Burn. Alright, our CC skills are almost back up, and it looks like they're going at it too, so let's see if we can... Yeah, get his break bar down, get some more poison on him. Whoop. Okay, alright, so now he's gonna go shield, and we need to catch the crystals. Let's go, guys, we can do this. Yeah, crystals. Oh, more people showed up too. Smash! Oh yeah, every crystal we don't catch turns into one of these guys, which is really annoying. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, got it. Oh, okay. Somebody else smashed the shield. keep using the four skill thinking that it's my poison. Alright, we're doing a lot better now. A couple other people have showed up. Time to spread out and catch some crystals. Ooh, that one's really far. Come here, come here. Yes, got it. That one I can't catch, so that's gonna turn into an enemy, but that's fine. Oh no! It knocked me back. Alright, come on. Smash! Oh, that oh, that guy almost caught that one. I can catch this one. Yeah, I got it. Oh, I need to heal. All right, come on. Oh, okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, I'm a little low on health. Let's use my uh, throw elixir H. Get some health back. Alright. Broken his break bar. Spread out and catch crystals again. We got this. Oh, he knocked me back. That's okay. I can still use elixir H now. Alright, alright, let's go. Please stop auto attacking. Alright, whatever. And smash. Can't catch that one too late. Nope, not way too far away. All right. Come on, guys, catch some crystals. Let's go. Think. Okay, that guy knows what he's doing. He's going to come smash the shield, and we're going to do some poison. Let's go! Oh, this guy's a guardian. He's got all kinds of neat abilities.
All right. I closed a rift and leveled up. Oh, oh no, oh no. Oh, wait, this is supposed to happen. This is just how it kicks you out of the map. Which is fine. Um, yeah, leave that. I believe that will spit me out. Never mind, apparently we're in the snow to drift now. That's interesting. Uh, let's go with condition damage amulet. And I, I don't have a waypoint in this map. <laughs> I'm really bad at typing, by the way. But that guy got me up, so I can go get this waypoint over here. And apparently we're just gonna explore the Snowden Drifts... Uh, for a little while. Eh, I don't know. The recording's approaching an hour now. Depending on how much I fast forward through, it'll probably be, you know, 40... 45 to 50 minute video at this point, so I might just uh, get that one little waypoint and go back to where I had planned to finish the episode over here. Alright, now I just gotta find the thing. I think that's the thing over there. Oh, there's another rift. Okay, we're gonna skip that this time. That guy is still standing there. He was standing there last time. <laughs> Alright, this is the thing. This is the thing. Let's talk to this merchant real quick. Oh, whoops. Alright. Uh, oh, he sells cowbells. Interesting. Alright. Um, let's do... Riftstone Satchel. Bloodstone dust. Open a rift to the mists. No thank you. And okay, let's go ahead and equip that carry on amulet. I don't think I have yeah, I don't even have an amulet yet, so that is just a straight plus. Okay. Um and then deposit materials. I'm probably gonna use that shield later, but not right now. Alright, so mad Mardine. Martin, whatever his name is. You're not suited to being a test subject for the catapult, catapult. But I may have something of interest for you, for the right price, of course. Uh, test subject? Yeah, I need a large, live ammunition for the catapult. I'm trying to determine what it would take to survive being tossed, so I'm, I'm cl so close to a solution I can almost taste it. Okay, I have a question. <laughs> Uh, what is this catapult exactly? You haven't heard of the catapult? It's a very promising invention designed to launch cows to our troops in besieged territories, and I am its creator. How does it work? It's quite simple. Lower the launch pod and open the hatch door. Insert the cow, close the hatch, and fire away. The tricky part is calculating the correct force needed to launch the cow. Uh, okay, yeah. So, he's not gonna launch us. I think he has an event where, like, we actually launch cows. Um, but, so he's not gonna launch us, but now that he's told us how to activate it, we can just, uh, get in. And launch ourselves. And we end up on top of this thing. It's a little bit sad that they don't actually launch you. Um, but they didn't have the kind of technology we have nowadays, and they haven't updated it uh, since this was released back in 2012. So that's the catapult down there, and it launched us to the top of this tower up here, where we have a nice vista to view.
I really hope someday they come back and update it so that it actually launches you. That would be really nice. In the meantime, though, I think that's it for this episode. I'm going to try and find a good spot up here. And slash wave goodbye. Thanks for coming, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to do the YouTube things and click on the stuff. And I will see you in the next episode. Have a great day.